Probably the beginnings of my interest in the arcane of the satanic, the magical lore, the emphasis on knowledge of a secret nature was fed in the carnival world of the mid-camp or fortune-telling concessions. The fortune-teller's stock and trade is the ability to take ordinary situations and turn them into mystical events. Cold reading is probably the, uh, the standardized way of performing these miracles, at least mental miracles, and that is to give a person information about themselves based on little cues or retrieval cues that you see uh, sort of watching for responses on their part to tell you whether you're correct or whether you're way off base. As long as you stay on the right track, then you eventually wind up reading them like a book, and they will in turn be like putty in your hands. Of course, most cold readers now, at least from what I've seen and what I've heard, don't admit even to be cold readers or uh, actual professional fortune tellers that use gimmicks or applied psychology. Most of them claim to have gifts, gifts from God or from a higher power, and they prefer it that way because, again, that's their good guy badge. They can't just say, well, I'm crafty enough or I'm clever enough or I'm talented perhaps enough to be able to pick up nuances about another's personality or personal life and feedback, amplify, uh, expand upon those things in a convincing manner. I played the Calliope, I guess, from about 1947 up through 1966. When the Church of Satan was formed, I was still getting jobs uh, and playing in parades, fairs, and things like that. Other than Calliope, I played band organs and uh, carousel organs. And they're basically the sort of thing you hear in amusement parks. And they used to have a keyboard that pulled out where you could play them manually. And uh, some of them were actually intended to be played with all the sound effects, uh, the bird whistles and the horses' hooves and the sleigh bells and the trolley gongs and everything with a big row of brass pedals down at the bottom that you could push for the various effects. They used to use them in a sort of modified version. They were called photo players in old silent movie theaters. And and they couldn't afford a big Wurlitzer pipe organ or something like that. So they would get one of these smaller things, which was very much like a merry-go-round organ, but with a, a, a keyboard and uh, able to be controlled by the player. <laughs> ¶¶ 